so you just went crazy customizing your website to make it look awesome. But now it's leaving the back end looking a little bit cluttered. You've got canvas views that you don't need, canvases that are still called new canvas. In the ordering of your elements on the left, don't quite match up with the ordering that they appear on the canvas. Did you know that this can even impact your search engine optimization? So you wanna take a few minutes to clean up everything, not only to improve your SEO, but also to help make your edits easier and show it down the road. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Carissa and I'm a brand and show website designer committed to giving you the tools so that you can polish your presence online and match those killer offerings that you're putting out in the world. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my exact checklist of things that I do when I'm cleaning up the back end of every website that I design. You'll wanna start at the top of your website pages list so that we make sure that we don't miss anything. And then we'll basically walk through the entire website page by page, canvas by canvas. So once you're in that top page, that's probably your homepage, We'll open that up and then hit the first canvas on the page. Now we can skip the site canvases for now because we'll get those later. So for now, we'll just focus on the regular canvases. With both the mobile and desktop views showing, make sure that they're both designed the way that you want them to look. To learn my hack for shaping up that mobile view, make sure when you're done watching this video that you head back and watch the last video because designing your mobile view from scratch is no fun. So you're gonna have a much easier time organizing this if everything is labeled in a way that describes the object. That will save you some headaches later on. To rename each element, you can either hit those three dots next to the name of the element and then hit rename, or you can just double click on that element to rename it. If you're not sure which element it's referring to, just click on the element on the left and then look in the workspace to see which item is selected. This is also a good time to remove any elements that you're not even using on the canvas at all. So both the mobile and desktop icons here are toggled off. They're good to delete unless you think you might wanna add them back later on. So next let's order all of the elements top down, left to right in your design. For this step, we're gonna start with the mobile side because Google actually crawls the mobile site first and then it moves over to the desktop version of your website. And this is another reason why mobile is so important. So the first thing we see is this image here. So this is at the top of the list. If there are canvases for that same item, then those should come next. Then we see the read more text box, which shows next in the list, followed by the outline around it, then the view menu and its outline, then catering and its outline. You see where I'm going with this. Now the exception is if you have some layering going on. So for example, technically this outline shows up before the words, but if the box was on top of the words, obviously the words would be hidden, which we definitely don't want. So just use your best judgment there. Now that you have a design, you have everything labeled in a way that makes sense and everything is in order, take it one step further and make sure the HTML text tags are set up for each item to help with your search engine optimization. You can do this over here on the right under text properties and by changing it here according to the structure of the page. I explain all about how to do this in the next video all about SEO, so be sure and watch that once you're done with this video. But now we've got this canvas cleaned up, organized, and optimized. So now it's time to move on to the next canvas on the page and then continue doing this for every canvas on your website. And once you have all of the canvases looking good, then you can go over to your site canvas list and pop down on each one of those to make sure those are all set as well. And then you should be ready to rock and roll. So after you have everything organized, now you can go through and adjust your settings so that your search engine optimization is a little bit more optimized because we all wanna be found on Google, right? And remember that thing that I said about text tags? Hit that video that's on your screen right now to hear all about that and all things SEO so that you can start showing up on Google when you launch your website. So I'll see you there in that next video.